Hello, welcome to the fifth part of the Resonance Day game series. So I hope that you have been following the last few lectures and you have been completing the homework exercises. So today I'm going to explain the third inner indicator, which is inspiration. So we have all about heard about the idea of following your inspiration, following your joy, following your bliss and ecstasy. So it's going to be the same thing, right? Now, inspiration is another aspect of your state of being where you follow the call of inspiration. So in my life purpose series, I've already talked about the call of inspiration. What is the hidden meaning of inspiration? How when you follow your inspiration, you connect back with your life path frequency and all of that. So I'll highly recommend that you watch those videos in my life purpose series for having a background about what inspiration is in detail and in more depth because inspiration is a very important aspect of your state of being that is going to be relevant for the resonance to game series now in essence inspiration is the it's about following the call of inspiration you have noticed in your life many times you have received the call of inspiration where you literally felt something is calling you that I'm being called for doing this you know I remember very very well that when I was you know 16 or 17 or something like that when I uh, listened to a rock band I had uh, goosebumps on my hands and I was feeling that man i've got to do this i've got to play music i've got to play the guitar and sing and it is that huge inspiration little thing that you know that pulls you towards your life purpose frequency so almost everybody i'm not almost everybody everybody receives this call of inspiration now this aspect of your state of being inspiration is about following your inspiration we usually either listen to our inspiration or we don't right we follow our inspiration or we don't now when we follow our inspiration we move closer to a light path frequency because guess what your inspiration are your clues to move towards the vicinity of your life purpose frequency when you follow them you really move towards your life purpose journey and you start experiencing all the relevant experiences in your life that you came here for and that's when life becomes really really fun and exciting and you have you start having a whole lot of amazing experiences and also when you follow your inspiration you get on an accelerated evolutionary growth journey of consciousness it happens in the smoothest manner with the least stumbling block if you are following your inspiration now the thing happens is inspiration does not come with a whole lot of background of what it is about so maybe sometime you will receive an inspiration that oh man i should write a book or maybe i should go travel somewhere else but it does not make linear logical connection that why i should write a book because it makes no sense because I'm doing something entirely else and suddenly I'm feeling an urge to do something makes no sense I know and I have talked about this in detail about uh, how to follow your inspiration how to trust your inner guidance in the lectures in my life purpose series so I highly urge you to listen to them because then there will get a whole lot of background but in essence when you follow your inspiration you move near your life purpose frequency and it's always that it's always that and it requires a little bit of trust a little bit of trust in your inner guidance and that is what is very very important now this is what inspiration is now what I want you to do is do another little homework that is take a sheet could be a Google sheet could be a Google document you know word document a real paper doesn't matter what I want you to do is write down all the moments in your life that you can remember go back in your memory and remember all the moments in your life where you acted on your inspiration where you chose to act on the call of inspiration you know even if it did not make sense it you probably acted on it you know 
I want you to write them down because there will be those moments for you where you did that, you know, and I want you to not just write them down. I want you to exp write a little bit of, you know, story also what happened when you did that, what are the consequences and on the things that happens or, or the events that followed when you acted on when you acted on your inspiration, right? I want you to write that at least five of these experience will do you can have more of them but at least three to five of this experience and write the story what happened afterwards you know now if you do not find in your memory a whole lot of experience where you acted on your inspiration what i want you to do is remember at least those ex uh, experiences the events where you received a huge call of inspiration Maybe you did not act on it. It doesn't matter. But you received a huge call of inspiration where you really felt that I should do this. Just like me when I, you know, as young, I, I was receiving the call of inspiration like, ah, oh, I should play guitar and I should play music and stuff like that. You know, M maybe I did not act on that, but the, the call of inspiration was so profound, you know, something like that, you know. So... I want you to write at least three to five experiences and write the story and write the events what followed. You know, this is your homework. Now, what you will notice that more often than not, when you followed your uh, inspiration, it led you to an adventurous journey. It might not always be a joyful journey. Most of the time, it's a very exciting journey, though. But it was always an adventurous journey where you will have learned a lot of things, evolved and garnered a whole lot of experience, you know, and maybe even had a lot of fun. So I just want you to write down. And again, nobody is going to see what you write. Nobody is going to judge. So it's for your own stuff, right? Just write them down. So this is going to be your homework. And... I will see you in the next lecture and in the next lecture I will be explaining to you the fourth and the last inner indicator of your state of being that you need to know in order to play the seven day resonance game. So if you're watching this in my YouTube channel, I'll appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so that you'll receive notification when I release this new video lectures and also leave a comment about your questions, your queries, how these lessons are, you know, going through, any changes that you're notice, noticing, any realizations that you're having. If you're watching it in my website, please leave a comment also. And I'll introduce to you my FB group. I've already talked about my FB group in my other lectures because in my FB group, I'll be helping light workers to, you know, go through this resonance game journey and answering their questions, having live sessions and directly interacting in the epic group. This epic group is called Alchemists of Earth and it's a new group, but I'm putting it together. So I invite you to join my epic group. I'll have a link of it in the description of the video. So I hope you have a wonderful journey and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.